Hey guys, we have my sister here for a little cardio Q and A. Um, first question: How are you feeling right now? Feeling feel the burn. Mm. That burn, that is. How many how many uh, calories you have? Doesn't matter. Good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> show you guys what we're eating here. I have my new uh, vlogging partner in crime, Julian, here. We gotta think, we need some feedback on an exceptional, uh, like, nickname. So, so what am I eating? I'm eating. We've got some rotisserie chicken, some steamed broccoli, and I'm gonna throw over it uh, some meat sauce. As you can see, it is heavy on the meat side, light on the sauce side. This is left over actually from a very, very nice client who dropped this off. And my extremely educated clients are eating Jimmy John's Unwitches, which means no bread, no carbs, a little bit fast. of, it's freaky fast, yes. It well, is freaky. 15, Way to go. 15 minutes to get it. <laughs> Did you really just go down the street and it took that long? Mm -hmm. Jesus, okay. So that's what we're eating. We're gonna get this in our system. We are about an hour and a half from a leg day at the gym. So this is perfect timing uh, in terms of uh, meal timing versus your workout timing. So, and Julian will be vlogging for that. So we'll see you guys soon. Especially me driving without having to film at all, uh, which is always a preferred method. Um, as I said, we're going to be heading to Powerhouse to hit legs, and I wanted to touch on something real quick uh, just to kind of give you guys an understanding of my approach to legs. Um, so, genetically, my legs grow very easily, which despite the fact that there's a ton of guys out there that work really hard and they lift a bunch of heavy weights to try to make their legs grow. Um, that's not my, that's not what I'm trying to accomplish at this stage. I'm not gonna be competing anytime soon, probably never again. Um, so I don't really need gigantic, massive legs. And to be honest, it, uh, it seems to only cost me money in the form of ruining very expensive jeans that I completely wear the crotch out of because my freaking thighs are always rubbing together <clears throat> so so that said my approach to legs when you're watching me kind of go through this workout today I'm not lifting you know extremely heavy weights I'm probably only lifting I don't know 65% of what my max would be um, again primarily because I'm not trying to trigger that response on my body to um, you know grow these massive monstrous legs um, and then aside from that, you know, I, I had a hip replacement on my right side, which some of you know, some of you don't. Um, that was back in 2010. And ever since then, I just, I, I always maintain a leg regimen so that I keep that joint strong and stable. But again, I'm not interested in maxing out squats or anything like that. So uh, my range is limited a little bit in terms of when you're watching me squat or if you're watching me on a leg press. Um, my depth is, is uh, restricted a little bit and it's it's mainly because I uh, from this point on after having my hip replacement I'm always at risk of a dislocation in that joint uh, so I'm not able to go that deep 
I, I'm able to go there, but I risk uh, uh, really causing some damage. So, so that is uh, that's on the agenda today. So it's not a huge, uh, uh, it's not one of my favorite workouts to be honest. I don't really get extremely excited at the thought of of uh, lifting legs. I never have. It's um, it's probably because I was, like I said, blessed with genetics to have just larger, more muscular legs. So. Uh, it's always come easy and therefore I'm lazy with it, um, but nevertheless, we're going to get it in today and see what happens. Introduced himself briefly um, and I'm ex extremely excited to have him on board. He's going to be doing this at least once a week. Um, I apologize to all you guys that are or have been following along on my YouTube channel, my vlogging. Um, I haven't put anything out in probably over a week and a half. Um, last week was my off week with clients, so I was really um, putting in a lot of time and energy into the book uh, that I'm wrapping up. So it just it didn't leave me any time. I've actually got some footage that I just need to edit, but again, I was I was so limited on that time, it just it didn't happen. So for that, I apologize, and that is why Julian is uh, stepping on board to give me a little bit of uh, assistance in uh, in the vlogging department. So. We're gonna try to do this at least once a week, um, at least on Fridays. He'll be filming. Um, I'm gonna say that I will have that footage out to you guys probably on Tuesdays. Um, and then again, if there's you know some kind of a special event or or something that uh, I want filmed, he will be uh, a part of that as well. Um, and like I said, we've got to come up with a, a clever nickname for him. So that's. Uh, that's on the to-do list. <laughs> on a side note, as we're driving through it, I'm going to have Julian uh, show you guys a quick glimpse. It is October 6th or 7th, which means it is bow season here in Michigan for white-tailed deer. Uh, so we're actually going to be driving by a piece of property that I'm going to be hunting uh, that I am fairly certain I'm going to bag a couple deer out of which is always good to put some meat in the freezer, especially in my case, uh, because it is very expensive to feed myself, my wife, and my four kids. We're actually only about 10 minutes from my house, which is amazing to be able to hunt that close, uh, because I'm used to driving about four and a half hours to where I normally hunt. So where this sign is, this for sale sign, uh, this is the actual property, and this is the cut of woods that my stand is up and in. And that is where I'm gonna be slaying deer on the meat freezer. So as you can see, I had to get this. I've been up since 3.45 this morning for work. Even though it's only one noon. Uh, it feels later to me and I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna get some of this in my system just to kind of wake me up. So, those of you that have your own style or methods of legs, that's fine. Uh, whatever works for you is ultimately what's best, but we were starting with leg extensions. Uh, after our warm-up on the pump flight, but that was a uh, station event. The reason for this, starting here, even though it's an isolated motion, um, it's not a total leg motion, I like starting here because this is a good way to warm up the knees. Um, the knees are always, at least in most cases, the more, the joint that is usually in need of being warmed up more. So, uh, it's just it's a safe way to, way to start. Like I said, it gets things moving, gets blood where it needs to go, and so that's why we're starting here. So we're gonna do, uh, we'll do two light sets and then three working sets, so a total of five sets. So we're getting into the second warm up. Load up these plates and then give half rep range. Stop wasting your time. 
make sure your contractions are what they need to be. Make sure you're squeezing when you should be squeezing. Make sure you're controlling your weight when you should be controlling it. Don't just go through the motions. To say you did eight reps or 10 reps or 12 reps, and to say that you lift a bunch of weight that you really can't lift. Mental muscle connection. All right, guys. Um, just for a little side note, if anyone wants to kill their workout right after, McDonald's drive through is right there, so just make sure you're burning at least 500 calories and then go get yourself a hefty meal. So even though we've pretty much warmed up the legs, um, I always start my squat pretty light. Not only because of my hip replacement, I was telling you guys about earlier, uh, but also it's, it's just a dynamic motion, so just to make sure everything's firing properly, there's no need to throw a bunch of weight on right out of the gate. So first that's just really light, full range of motion, making sure everything's firing like it should be, and then we get to work. Remember one thing. Legs are the biggest muscles in your body. So if you want a fast metabolism that allows you to get away with all your favorite foods, all your favorite drinks, legs is where it's at. Burn a ton of calories, keep your metabolism going. Plus, it makes everything downstairs look better, ladies. That's why I mentioned for the solution to get legs hard. Three plates each side. Single leg, leg press, do a single leg, stiff like a dead end. So those of you that are, again, just trying to stack a bunch of weight, this what's your plates. Trying to stack a bunch of weight, lift as heavy as possible all the time, you're really missing the boat and missing potential for growth. A lot of these stabilization motions, these isolated movements, will trigger a huge response in your body if you're doing it properly. So let's move on. So, on a compound set like this, a lot of different movements going on. Total taxing of the muscle. So that said, rest period is just as important in a situation like this. If I'm gonna ask this much out of my muscles through activity like this, I've gotta allow my muscle bellies to replenish its natural creatine levels. So that said, if you guys are in a position where you're trying to lift really heavy, or do compound things like this, and it's just go, 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 go. You're really not letting your body a chance, to, giving your body a chance to fully replenish 
and get in position for that next moment, that, uh, that next step. So, rest period's probably gonna be at least a minute and a half here. Could go up to three minutes. I don't think I'm going to because I wanna keep my heart rate a little bit higher. Um, just because I'm trying to burn off some extra fat. But again, minute, minute and a half minimum. You guys in your 30 second windows, again, unless you're doing hit style training on purpose, stop that. Okay, that concludes our leg workout, which unfortunately the battery's about to die, so we cut it short as far as actual footage. We finished out with um, what you did not see was uh, leg curls. That was about it. Um, so we did three sets of leg curls and uh, called it a day. So we are officially done with the leg workout, done with lifting for the day. I've got no cardio on the books. Today I'll be at it tomorrow. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the next uh, vlog with Master Julian behind the camera. And uh, we're gonna stop at Burger King real quick on the way. <laughs> That's all she wrote.